Lee and Linda, are you willing now and always to support and strengthen this marriage by upholding both Jordan and Bristol with your love, your concern, your counsel, and your prayers? We are. Thank you. When I met you, when I met you, I was afraid of loving you. You promised me all these amazing things, and you listened to me. <laughs> um, um, I was afraid you wouldn't be true to your word, afraid you'd be like all the rest, but every one of those promises you made, you kept. Before I met you, I didn't know how it felt to lay under the cloudy sky and appreciate the view in a brand new way. You've taught me that everything in life is fickle and that the love we have for each other is endless. You're such a part of me that when you're gone, I can only think about when you'll be back. You inspire me to be a better woman. You taught me how to love myself. You make me laugh when the tears on my face have yet to dry. And you've made me cry when you do such innocent, loving acts. I can't believe how far we've come. And I can't wait to see where this path will take us. Jordan, I love you more than anything. You're every little piece of me that I didn't know was missing. I promise to be there for you, to love and support you in sickness and health and happiness and in sorrow. You're the man I want in my life. I need you. I've wanted to be with you since I've met you. I've, I told you that the day I met you, I've I plan to stay here, and I'm here for you, and I always will be, and I love you more than anything, and you know that, and I know that you're here for me, and you have been since I met you, and I'm, I'm ready to, to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> true and loyal, patient in sickness, comforting in sorrow, and forsaking all others, keeping yourselves only unto her, so long as you boast fully of it. Do you vow here, as you have promised Bristol, that you will be true and loyal, patient in sickness, comforting in sorrow, and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto him, so long as you boast fully of what token do you pledge of sincerity of your vows for this woman? A ring is a fitting symbol to represent the covenant that you are making today. Not only are these made out of the finest metals, reminding you of the purity of your relationship, but they're also a circle, a line of unending, reminding you that your love, devotion, and commitment to one another is to be unending. 
I had to make sure of this on the way over here and I, I knew it, but the ring that you all will put on your finger just here in a couple of minutes, it was the Greeks and the Romans, that there's a vein that runs to your heart. That's where it goes. And that's, that's the ring that you'll wear your, your, on your finger. Please join hands. Jordan, repeat after me. I, Jordan, I, Jordan, take you, Bristol, take you, Bristol, to be my wife, to be my wife, before God, before God, who has brought us together, who has brought us together, to love and cherish you, to love and cherish you, even as Christ loved the church, even as Christ loved the church, and gave Himself for it, and gave Himself for it, to lead you, to lead you, and all, and all. Of life's experiences with you, of life's experiences with you, by following God through them, by following God through them, that through His grace, that through His grace, we might grow together, we might grow together into the likeness, into the likeness of Jesus, of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior. Hi, Bristol. Hi, Bristol. Take you, Jordan. Take you, Jordan. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Before God. Before God. Who brought us together. Who brought us together. To love you and to cherish you. To love you and to cherish you. To submit your or to submit myself. To submit myself. To you in all things. To you in all things. And to follow you. And to follow you. Through all life's experiences. Through all life's experiences. As you follow God. As you follow God. That through his grace. That through his grace we might grow together, we might grow together into the likeness, into the likeness of Jesus, of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior. Please join hands. That's the wrong ring. <laughs> Sam gave us the wrong one. <laughs> You'll never forget this one. <laughs> and as much as you have pledged to, to the other your lifelong commitments, your love and devotion by the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and according to the laws of the state of West Virginia, I now declare you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And always remember this what God has joined together let no man ever put aside I'm going to kiss your brides <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it's my pleasure to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jordan and Bristol Dameron give me a hand Everyone, please stand for me. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming today, being a part of this. I've known her for a long time. I talk to him and he reminds me. They always say that a, a lady will marry someone like her father. She reminds me of this man. Thank you for coming. May you be blessed and travel home. Thank you.